Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will learn how to convert a percent into a fraction. I've included a chart with some fraction decimal percent conversions that will be helpful for you to have memorized in the future. Let's take a look at the steps to turn a percent into a fraction when you have to complete the calculations. The steps to turn a percent into a fraction are very simple. Percents are out of 100. 100% is your whole, and your percent is the part of a whole. So when you turn a percent into a fraction, you simply take your percent and put it over a denominator of 100. So with 3%, we're going to use a denominator of 100, and our 3 is our numerator. The only thing you have to ask yourself then is can we simplify? Well, 3 one hundredths can't be simplified, so 3% equals 3 one hundredths. For our next example, we have 36%, and our percents go over 100 when we turn them into fractions. So we'll use a denominator of 100, and our numerator is 36. So 36% 36 is equal to 36 hundredths, but can we simplify? Well, 36 and 100 both share a common factor of 4, so I can simplify. So I'm going to need to divide my numerator and my denominator both by 4. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 36% is equal to 9 25 One additional point to consider is what you'll be doing with the fraction once you've turned your percent into a fraction. If it makes more sense in your problem to leave the fraction over 100, so in this example 36 one hundredths, instead of simplifying, then you'll want to do that. In our third example, we have 115%. And we're going to do the same steps, even though it's over 100%. Our percents go over a denominator of 100. So we'll use our 100 as our denominator. And I have 115%. So 115 will be our numerator. Now we do have an improper fraction because we have 115 one hundredths. So we're going to want to change that improper fraction into a mixed number. And remember we do that by dividing our numerator by our denominator, which means the 115 will go on the inside, the 100 will go on the outside because I'm dividing 115 by 100. So 115 divided by 100 is one, 1 times 100 is 100. My next step is to subtract. So 115 minus 100 is 15. And my quotient becomes my whole number. So the 1 will become my whole number. My remainder of 15 becomes my numerator. And my denominator remains the same. So 15 will be my numerator. My denominator of 100 will remain the same. Then we need to think about whether we need to simplify or not. Well, 15 and 100 share a common factor of 5, so this can be simplified. I can divide my numerator and denominator both by 5. So simplified, I'll still have the whole number 1. Then I have 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 115% is equal to 1 and 3 twentieths. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.